Now, in this screencast, I'm going to show you how to obtain the machine project that we're going to be working on together this semester and the process of submitting your code and seeing your first grade up on the grading page. So I just want to say that I'm really delighted to have you in my class and I'm really excited that we're getting started on the machine project. You guys are going to learn a lot through this experience. Um, it can be daunting. It can be scary. Please don't hesitate to ask for help um, and don't feel afraid if you feel a little lost and confused sometimes. That's normal. That's a part of doing this project. All right, so I'm looking at the MP0 write-up. This is a really important source of information that you should return to often and consult whenever you're confused. This is a great place to start before you ask help on the forum because a lot of the questions that you might have, we've tried to answer for you in this document. So I'm gonna jump ahead into the section on how to obtain the machine project. Um, we assume that you've already signed up for a GitHub account. I'm also gonna assume here that you've set up Android Studio according to our Android Studio setup instructions. And this includes setting up Git on your machine so that you can obtain the machine project through GitHub. If you haven't done that, then you're going to struggle with this part of the, of the tutorial, okay? So once you start up Android Studio, you'll see I'm using version 3.5.3, .3, you should see an option here to check out the project from version control using Git. If you don't see that option, then you need to finish setting up Git according to our instructions. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start at this GitHub Classroom link. This is how we've in invited you to work on the machine project. So the first time you open this link, it might take a few minutes to complete this step. Just be patient, uh, don't close the window. If you do get stuck here, there have been some issues in the past with GitHub Classroom not properly finishing this step. Um, do feel free to ask for help. Uh, or to, to point that out on the forum, but give it a few minutes before you do that. All right, so once you're done, you're gonna see this page. Um, it means you've accepted the assignment for spring 2020 and GitHub Classroom has created a repository for you to work in. All right, so I'm gonna click on this link. That's gonna take me to my repository. Uh, you can see that the only commit so far is by Ben and that's the starter code for the assignment. So in order to get a copy of this on my local machine, I'm gonna go over here to where it says clone or download. Now this is really, really important. Okay, so do not mess this up. Do not click on the download zip button. That is not what you want to do. Also don't click on this open in desktop button. That's also not what you want to do. Um, it is really important that you don't set up your project that way because if you do, you will not be able to submit your code and you will be very sad later. Uh, it'll be very difficult to take any changes you make to an improperly set up project and migrate them to one once you've done it properly. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, get to the point where it says clone with HTTPS. I'm gonna copy this link, let's see here, and then I'm gonna go back over to Android Studio. All right, so now in Android Studio, I'm gonna say check out project from version control. I'm gonna click on Git and then I'm gonna paste that link, okay? Um, and then I'm gonna hit clone, All right? If you haven't set up, if you haven't associated your GitHub account with Android Studio yet, at this point it may ask for a username and password. Um, if you set up an account, but it's the wrong account, this step won't work. Um, so if you get stuck here, again, ask for help. Once you're done, you're gonna get this dialog box and let's get started. So we're gonna open it. Now, the first time you open the machine project, this is a good point to step away from your computer, get a cup of coffee, uh, you know, maybe check up on your Facebook or your Instagram messages or whatever. This can take a few minutes. So the first time you open the machine project, um, Android Studio is doing a bunch of work. This is not work that it'll have to do again. Uh, but there's a few steps that are being run. You can see down here in the status bar, it's configuring the build and things like this. These might take a few minutes, uh, particularly if you're on a slow network connection because there's stuff that's being downloaded. Um, essentially, we are obtaining all the resources that you need to begin building and testing a complete Android app. And that can take a few minutes. That can also um, cause your computer to have to do a little bit of work. So. Um, you know, we're gonna sit here for a minute while this, um, this gets done. Um, in the meantime, I'm gonna go back um, over here and we're gonna walk through the process of submitting 
your work. And there's a couple of steps here, um, but we're going to go through them together. There's also a document that will be available on the MP page over here once we put it up, which will also go through each step in this process. But um, it's not that complicated and you'll get used to it. Um, our goal is to get to the point where we have a uh, one of our submissions visible at this site. So when you go to your grading page, um, when you go over here to the MPs tab, what you're going to see is that it's going to be empty because you haven't submitted uh, anything, uh, any MPs yet. So we're going to get to the point where we've done that. Okay. okay. Um, I don't know why this is here, but this is probably okay. Um, all right. So let's go ahead and walk through the steps to get started. Now, this is one of the most important steps to submitting um, your work. If you don't follow this step properly, you're not going to see anything on the grading page and you're going to be very confused. So over here in Android Studio, and you only have to do this once, which is great. Once you set this up properly, it's just going to work throughout the rest of the semester. But the first time you submit, you go over here and you click on the button that will say Android when you launch, when you open the MP. And you're going to go to this project view. Then in the project view, we're going to open this and then we're going to click on email.txt. In this file, all you need to do is type your email address. I feel like I'm the host of Celebrity Jeopardy on Saturday Night Live. All you have to do is type your Illinois email address. That's it. Uh, close the file. Okay, and you're done. All you have to do is do that once. You never have to do that again. Once you've done that, we know that it's you submitting the MP using this particular GitHub account. So once you've entered your email in there, just leave it alone. You'll never have to use that again. Now let's go back. So if you don't enter your email address, let's try going over here. If you have our plugin installed, you'll see the shield. Um, and if you click on this, what'll happen, it'll still run the auto grade. And this is the local auto grader. So if you run this, this is giving you an estimate of what your score is. It's not actually giving you an official score. So if I go back to the MP grades page, I don't see anything. I haven't submitted yet. All right, so it's saying that I need to enter my at Illinois email address into email.txt, okay? And again, you have to get this right. If you enter somebody else's email address, if you mistype your email address, you will not see any grades on the grading page. So I'm gonna put in my email address here. Now when I run the auto grader, and the first time you run our auto grader, it's also gonna maybe a little bit slow. It's doing some work. Uh, it's downloading some things and stuff like that. So. Um, and what this is doing is it's actually essentially running the same process that we're going to run when we submit, when you submit your uh, work for official grading. The only difference is it's doing it on your machine and it's producing an estimate of your grade. So you'll see here that there are some problems that we need to address, check style errors. Uh, this is one of the first things that you can do to get started getting some points on the project. Um, so it's going to run check style, it's going to run the test suites. And when it's done, and again, this is gonna take a minute, it will be, uh, might be faster on subsequent runs. When it's done, it's gonna print off my current grade on the machine project, all right? And again, I just wanna emphasize, this is not submitting your work. It's not, uh, this does not constitute your grade for the MP. This is a tool that you can use as you're working on the MP whenever you want to estimate your score, but your score is not official till you see it on our grading page. So you'll see here that I have not done very well on the MP so far as so I haven't gotten any points yet, that's okay. Uh, you guys will start getting points on the MP uh, soon enough. But let's submit this to make sure that we know how to do that. Okay, so when I'm ready, uh, anytime I want to, I can submit my MP for official grading. So here's how to do that. I go up here and there's two ways to start this process. I can either use this little green checkbox here, or if I go up to the VCS menu and choose Git and go to uh, commit. And let's see here, where is that? Right here, okay, sorry, it's up here, commit. So either way, I'm gonna do this, okay? I'm gonna hit Git, commit, and then I'm gonna write a message. So here I'm gonna say added email.txt. And Git commit messages are really important um, ways of helping you remember what you changed at a particular point in the project. So until this point, all I've done is added my email to email.txt. That's what I'm going to put down. Now here's a very, another very common mistake. 
if you just hit commit down here, then nothing is going to show up on the grading page. Okay, and I'll show you this in a second. When, with Git, when you commit your work, it's like saving it locally on your computer. You're not actually sending anything to GitHub, and so we don't know that you've actually done any work. So in order to submit your work, you have to push it. Um, and Android Studio allows you to combine these into one operation, but you have to click this little drop-down box. So I'm going to say commit and push. That's going to both save my work, and it's going to send those changes back to GitHub so that we know that you did it. Once you do that, we'll start grading your work immediately, and I'm going to show you what happens. Okay, so this is going to give me a little dialog box. I'm going to say push, okay? And then it's going to do some work and get, uh, get started down here. And now as soon as you push, okay, if you've done things correctly, if your email.txt is correct, you will see a message like this on the grading page. So what this says is that we are working on grading something that you submitted. You have one pending grading job. We'll tell you the timestamp and when we received it in the commit message. Okay, so we're, you know, what, what is happening currently is that we're actually running something like the grading task that you ran locally on our servers to compute an official grade. That can take a few minutes. You'll see here that we're here and we've been here for maybe half a minute and, you know, it might take one or two minutes, particularly if you submitted a busy time when there's lots of other people trying to submit, like right before a deadline, this might take a few minutes. But once you see this message, you know that you have submitted. And look, it's done, okay? So it doesn't take that long. And here's my official score. My official score is zero because I haven't done anything yet, which is fine, right? Now again, down here, you can see all the output from the grading process. And you'll see that this, this concludes with something that's pretty similar to what we saw when we ran things on our own machine. But this is running on our server so that we can compute an official score. Okay, so that's the correct way to do it, all right? Now let me show you a couple of mistakes that you can make, all right? So for example, let's, and I'm going to make kind of a meaningless change to something here. Um, well, you know what? Let's actually go up and fix one of these, all right? So if I open up, so there's some check style errors here. And if I go into, actually, let's switch to the Android view now. Um, this is in app, Java, MP, oh, these are the test suites. Nope, it's up here. MP, logic, and line cross detector. This is one of the files you guys be working on. If you have set up your, um, your check style plugin, as you were instructed to in our instructions, you'll see some errors here, and those are actually uh, check style errors. So you can come down here, and there's a few places where check style is going to complain because you're not formatting your code properly. Okay, so there's one place, right? Um, here's another place. Let's see here. Um, and as I'm, as I'm doing this, if I save the file, uh, oh, there's another problem here. Oop, no, nope, I don't want to do that. Got to go up here, and then I got to get rid of this erroneous space that I added, all right? Um, and it looks like I'm making progress. There's a way to, if I hit, I think, F2, it'll jump to the next error in the file, and you can see now the problem here is that this line is too long. So let's try a couple ways of fixing that. That's not going to do it. Okay. Instead, we're going to have to put an extra line there, and we'll do the same thing here. Okay, great. So now you'll see I fixed all of the check style errors, and there are no other problems in here. So let's run the grader again and see if we've, if we've got our points. We got the 10 points that uh, we're going to assign for not having any check style errors on this particular MP. For some reason, line cross detector is still uh, shown here as a problem. I think that's just the check style plugin not working perfectly. But let's open it up again and see what happens. Yep, there we go. So sometimes I've noticed that the check style plugin doesn't immediately see changes to the file. So if you make some changes and you think that everything is good, but you see a red squiggly over here, just close the file and reopen it. Okay, so now we're rerunning our grading task. It's taking a minute again, as it usually does. But what you'll see here is that there's not going to be any check style errors. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and commit our work. But when we do this, I'm going to show you one of the common mistakes that you can make um, when you try to submit your work. Okay, so look, I have 10 points now. That's awesome. So I actually only have 30 more points that I need to get before the early deadline. 
right? So this is really exciting. Now you see down here, as soon as you get points on the MP, you need to commit your work and submit it. We want you to do that right away so that you get the best score at the end of the day. All right, so uh, now I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna say fixed check style errors. And let me show you what can happen here. So I hit commit and I'm done, okay? Now I go over here and I'm sitting here on the grading page waiting for my submission to go through because I have 10 points now and I'm pretty pumped about that, as you should be. Um, but I don't see anything. I don't see that message that says I have a pending uh, submission. And the reason for this is because you didn't push. Now look, I just want to emphasize this. We have put a lot of work into this system. And the reason is we want you to know that you've done things properly. You might have heard from other people in other classes that their submissions don't get graded immediately. But here in 125, yours do. So if you don't see that message right here, it means you made a mistake. And there's two you know, major mistakes you could make. One is that you didn't put your email address in properly, but you'll probably figure that out pretty quickly. The second one is you forgot to push. So there, what happened is I committed and I forgot to push. So I don't see my latest grade here and I don't see any indication that there's a submission that's being uh, graded. So if I wanna fix that, what I need to do, and this is a little tricky, I need to go to the VCS and open up the Git menu. And now I need to go to push. And so what you'll see here is that there's a commit that I didn't push yet, right? This is the one where I fixed the check style errors. And so now I'm gonna head and push that. And you'll see as soon as I do that, I see this message. So now I've got a pending grade job, okay? And again, about a minute's gonna go by, I'm gonna come back here and I'm gonna see that my best submission for MP0 is 10, which is really exciting. A couple other notes here. So you do not have to refresh this page. Please don't, it's actually kind of hard on our backend servers. So uh, you just keep this page open, you don't have to refresh the tab, it'll automatically refresh every time it has some new information. All right, so as soon as this is done, you'll see the pending grading job window will close and there will be a new submission down here in the MP0 area and I'll have earned my 10 points on MP0. The second thing I wanna point out is, um, and I'll do this once, once this finishes, um, we always put your best submission at the top. So your best submission is shown first. Here my best submission is 10 points. Um, any other submissions are shown below here. Other submissions are ordered by the time that we receive them, okay? So another thing that people will happen to people is they'll, they'll be expecting to get a certain number of points, they'll be looking at the top of the list, and they don't realize that there's another commit that's being shown down here uh, that, that doesn't appear. All right, so that's an introduction to how to commit, uh, how to obtain the MP, how to commit your work. Um, you know, when you're done, uh, obviously, you can close down Android Studio anytime you want, reopen it, um, and that's how things work. So, again, really excited to have you in the class. Uh, welcome to MP0. I wish you the best of luck on the MP. Please come to office hours or ask on the forum if you need help. Uh, we are really all here in the core staff committed to ensuring that you succeed on the MP, and we're really excited to help you with it. Good luck.